Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the previous video tutorial, we are trying to understand pseudo class selectors with respect to UI, that is pseudo class selectors with respect to form controls. In the previous video tutorial, we created this simple form and this is a code for it. There we have one email control, one password control, two radio buttons to accept gender and two buttons. One is a submit button, another one is a reset button and we have applied a little bit style to the form that is the background color gray and width 150 pixel, padding 10 pixel, border radius 10 pixel. Let's proceed further and understand pseudo class selectors with respect to UI. The first pseudo class selector I am going to discuss is enabled. Enabled pseudo class selector targets to input controls which are in enabled state. This is how we write a syntax selector colon enabled flower brackets declaration list. It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector if its status is enabled. By default, every form control is going to be in an enabled state. That's a default state. Let's have an example. Input colon enabled in flower brackets we write background color yellow. What this code does? It selects any input element if its status is enabled and applies the background color yellow on it. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad. Here at the bottom I say input. Then I say enabled in flower brackets. I write background dash color of Y-E-L-L-O-W yellow. File save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that the email control, the password control, submit button, reset button all are having the background color yellow. What's the reason behind it? Because by default all those controls are in enabled state. Even these checkboxes are in an enabled state. We cannot apply the background color to them. That's the reason we don't find any color there. So hope you guys are understanding what enabled does. Even we can make it much more specific. We can write much more specific code. Like I can say here, I can use the attribute selector. I can say type equal to, I can say here email. If there is an input control with the type attribute set email. And if it is enabled, apply the background color yellow. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see only the email ID control has the background color yellow. We can write the code to make our forms much more appealing based on their state. Okay, let's proceed further and get more information. Next pseudo class selector we are going to discuss is disabled. Disabled pseudo class selector targets those input controls which are in a disabled state. Now, how do we make a control disabled? We know that every form control is going to be in enabled state by default. We can make some control disabled by using the disabled attribute. So here to this password control, I use an attribute called as disabled. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the control is now in disabled. We cannot enter. We cannot interact with that control. I cannot enter a password now. We can make some styling to that control which is in a disabled state by using the disabled pseudo class letter. Maybe I want to set a black color background to the disabled control. So how do we do that? Let's see the syntax first. We write a selector colon disabled. In flower bracket we write a declaration list. What it does? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector if its status is disabled. Now in our case the password control is in a disabled state. Input colon disabled set the background color to black. It selects any input element if its status is disabled, applies a background color black. Let's see the code. I say input, I-N-P-U-T, input, colon, disabled, and in flower brackets, I say B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D, background dash color to black, semicolon. File, save, I told to the browser, locate any input element if it is in a disabled state. Of course, this password field is in a disabled state. Apply a background color black on it. So go to browser and say refresh. You can see that the password field has the background color set to black because that is the only control which is in a disabled state at present. So you can 
apply styles on HTML elements based on their state, right? Even I can make it much more specific. So I can use that attribute selector like a type equal to password and say like that. That also works perfectly. File save, good browser and refresh. You can see that it's working perfectly, right? Now I go back and delete this codes. Okay. File save, good browser and refresh. Now we are back to the default controls. Let me remove this disabled also. I hope you guys have clearly understood, right? How, what's the meaning of enabled? What's the meaning of disabled? How we can use enabled and disabled pseudo class selector? Refresh, reset. Okay, let's go back. Next we are going to discuss about is checked. Let's talk about checked. Now checked pseudo class selector targets the input controls which are in a checked state. For example, you can use this with respect to radio buttons. You can use this pseudo class selector with respect to check boxes. Very, very useful pseudo class selector friends. This is the syntax. Selector colon checked in flower bracket we write declaration list. What this syntax does actually? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector if its status is checked. Here I have an example code. You can see I have input colon checked plus span. We know that plus is adjacent sibling selector. In flower brackets we have written color white background color red. What this code does? It selects any span element. It selects any span element. If it is a sibling of input element which is in a checked state and immediately preceded by an input element which is in a checked state. Let's see the code. I go to the notepad and make a demonstration. So here I say input colon chected checked and then I say plus span opening flower bracket closing flower bracket. I say here background b a c k g r o u n d background dash color I set to black and foreground color I set to white. Let's take file save. Here we have two radio buttons. Both are not in checked state. So we can make by default one element checked by using the checked attribute. So here I say c h e c k e d checked. So this is going to be now in a checked state. So okay one element we got which is in checked state. Then I told check whether span and the input elements are sibling. Of course, the input element and span element, input element and span element are siblings because they both have the same parent that is the form. And also you need to check whether the span is immediately preceded by the input element which is in a checked state. Apply the background color black and foreground color white to it. Let's see, file, save, good browser and refresh. You can see that this is now having the background color black foreground color white right if i click on this you can see that the female span is having the background color black and the foreground color white that is how you can use the checked pseudo class selector based on the checked state you can perform some interaction okay so what this code is going to do i told first check whether the span and input elements are siblings and then I told check whether the span is immediately preceded by the plus sign indicates immediately preceded by an input element which is in checked state. Okay, so that is how you can use the pseudo class selectors with respect to UI. In the next video tutorial, I am going to discuss some more pseudo class selectors with respect to UI. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand clearly, try to use them in your websites. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.